we go up to Huddersfield every, every month or so to continue working with the mills, to continue trying to improve on the cloth, to try and get new ranges and to give feedback to what our customers are wanting this season. So, you know, a lot of tailors just kind of stay and say use their same fabrics that they've always used. But tailoring is also a little bit about fashion. It's also about making things to the current demand. So whether it be a, a midnight blue dinner suit or whether it be a lighter blue suit for a wedding suit, these are things that we need to constantly work with the mills to make sure that they're staying at the forefront of fashion. Now, to make good cloth, you've got to start with good yarn. You can't, uh, you can't make good cloth unless you use fantastic raw material. So, you can either buy from Globus at Slathwaite, which is made in UK, or from Germany or Italy. I've spoken to many customers in Savile Row, the city, the world, Japan, Korea, and they all say English cloth is fantastic. They love to tailor it. They know it's English cloth. They can cut it, they can sew it far better than Italian or Chinese cloth. It actually makes up so much better. It's a rounder cloth and it's, uh, it, it's much more honest. It doesn't misbehave in any shape or form. The butcher can make it up, it's quality. You know, why do we buy British cloth? Simply because it's the best. We have always been adamant supporters of the British mills, the British cloth. There is no other option out there that we have to buy British because they are the best. We could buy cheaper, inferior products from India or China, but you're never going to get the same suit. Yeah, Cadden the Dandy have always been big, big supporters of British cloth merchants, especially ones such as Dugdale Brothers, very kindly supported Dugdale Brothers, and also taking a, a, a big interest in how English merchants make their cloth. I think that comes across in, in all the people I come across working at Cadden the Dandy. The Cadden the Dandy customers are very informed because James and Ian in particular have taken an interest and spent a lot of time in Huddersfield learning about um, English cloth and how we make cloth here. When you're making cloth you can cut every corner in the book but it's actually about doing things right and doing things the correct way because it'll always show in the final product whether it's the final product for the for the mill or whether it's the final product for the tailor it's about doing things the right way and making the best product that you can and that's what's so fantastic about Huddersfield is that they are unwavering in their sort of support to make the best cloth they're not willing to cut the corners they're not willing to produce an inferior cloth WT Johnson and Huddersfield are regarded world over as one of the best finishers out there and what they do is fantastic and they're their role in the cloth making process is often really unsung and some of their machinery goes back years and years and years and generations and generations of the same family have owned the business and it's such an important role to give the cloth its lovely final finish and texture. Cloth when it's woven does come out a bit like cardboard sometimes and it is that finishing process that gives the cloth its life. The excitement is in seeing the finished article because when cloth is woven it's quite rough handling, but then with finishing, we have the soft water from the Pennines. They stretch all the way down the backbone of England. They're made out of sandstone and granite, and the water flows off into reservoirs, so it's naturally soft. So if you use soap, natural soap, you get a beautiful lather which scours the wool and makes a lovely soft piece of cloth. Well, Huddersfield is really the centre of the fine worsted trade, and that's centuries of evolution. So obviously it was discovered that our water is very soft. Uh, you know, it comes over the Yorkshire millstone in the Pennines. Uh, it has very few impurities in it, so it's perfect for washing wool. Hence, when we came to industrialisation, the very, very fine worsted processes of yarn, weavers, finishers, found it was, you know, it was ideal. So it's really our geography and geology that decreed we would have the fine worsted industry here. Finishing a cloth is so important and it's, the finishers often don't get the respect and credit that they deserve. Their name doesn't go on the fabric, but their role in the process of making the cloth is an integral part and a hugely important part. It's what gives the cloth its you know, final luster. It sets the cloth at a heat so it can stand up to the rigours of dry cleaning and everyday wear and hold the shape without going you know, shiny. And British cloth will have a, a you know a, a much better resilience to you know to everyday wear than a limp, slightly, you know, 
lighter weight Italian cloth or an inferior Indian or Chinese cloth. Both James and Ian, they've been fantastic supporters of Made in England. And my business is entirely made in England. Once I buy the raw wool, everything is woven locally. Everything is finished locally. And I deliver cloth to a Savile Row and uh, Cat and Dandy have been my biggest customer for the last six years. Cat and the Dandy interpret English cloth very well and have commissioned us on numerous occasions to make um, special collections, uh, which they sell to a, you know, a global customer base. And that, that's the fascination we have, is when companies engage with us to, to, to open the experience of all, all the people we work with in, in Huddersfield is, is, is important. Very pleasing and uh, have probably changed people's perceptions of bespoke tailoring, making it very affordable and still you know, holding the, the key facets of bespoke tailoring. And I think that is, is probably the future, making bespoke affordable, appealing to a new, you know, younger audience.